How y'all doing? Alright, I know you guys have seen several videos on YouTube how to recharge a battery that's completely dead. It won't take a charge. Um, you're using your little meters here and the, the light flashes real slowly or, you know, shout, telling you it's dead. It's got a, a reason why it's defective anyway. And uh, you guys want to all bring these batteries back because they're very expensive for all your power tools. There's um, a kid on YouTube that does the little flickering thing. You unplug it, plug it in, unplug it, plug it in. There's another guy who does a, a follow-up of that and says, Oh my God, I can't believe that it's working. And it did work and it saved me all this money. And um, these guys, all these guys with all these little ideas, there's another one who has actually wired this, one, the negative side and the positive side to two others. Uh, totaling 36 volts and he touches it eight times and uh, everybody's got all these little ideas and I'm here to tell you the truth behind it. They all work and the reason that they work is because when these batteries die completely um, there's two reasons they die. One, of course you've overused it. Two, the little prongs are not touching here so you might check those and pry them out. It'll show a defective battery if those are not touching. Um, but the, the main reason why is because we, we use them, then we let them sit, and they die. They completely die, and they won't take a charge again, and that's when we throw them away. All these little tricks work, and the reason they work is because inside the battery builds up exactly like the one video said, little crystals, and they don't allow it to take a charge anymore. It's kind of a little uh, rusty point in between the connections. And so what you have to do is excite that battery. Exciting it means to unplug and plug in, unplug and plug in. That will excite it. That will throw a spark, kind of like when you're walking across the floor and you touch something, that little static, that little spark. It excites it. Um, the other guy was using two other batteries, 36 volts. He touched the other one eight times. It doesn't matter if you touch it one time. It doesn't matter if you touch it 20 times. Uh, don't touch it too much to where it blows up, but the odds are it's not going to blow up. Um, just don't hold it there until the damn thing gets hot. I'm going to use a battery charger here. I'm not going to show you a before and I'm not going to show you an after because anybody can trick the batteries and oh, hey look, he replaced it with a different battery. That's not the same battery. Just simply take your battery charger if you have one, touch the positive to where it says plus right there on the positive and that says uh, the negative symbol and just touch both sides like that and you'll get a little spark. I'm setting mine at uh, 20 amps. I could put it at 55 or 2 amps or a trickle charge or a slow charge. Just touch it and get a spark out of it. As soon as you get a spark out of it, you'll then have a voltage in it. Once it reads a little bit of voltage, it will then take more voltage. But without any voltage, it won't even try. It's like exciting a coil. Sometimes coils go out on motorcycles and you get no spark at your spark plug. And no matter what you do, you just don't get it. Sometimes you do, sometimes you don't. If you take the spark plug out and you plug it in, where, you, where it actually gets plugged in on your motorcycle, right here. I think I have one laying here. Let me look. Here's a little coil right here. So here's your coil. This is mounted to, this, to the bike. And here's where your spark plug goes. Take the spark plug out. Put it inside. Crank over your motorcycle, your three-wheeler, your whatever it is, and look for a spark right there. You'll get one if, if, it's, if it's the coil that needs excited. It means it's a weak coil, just like you have a weak battery. So you just cause it to spark one time. And once it sparks, take it off, put it back inside the head, plug it back in and fire it up, and it will run. You have to excite the coil to get it to work again because it's built up those little crystals, just like the batteries do. So whatever way that you do it, do it calmly, do it cautiously, don't put a whole bunch of power to it trying to overcharge it. Let the chargers do the charging like it's supposed to. Just excite it and once you've excited it then you can throw it in there and you can charge it. So I'm going to throw this one in there. Clearly this one is taking a charge. This one is not taking a charge. Oh, starting to. Nope, it's not taking a charge. There it says it's no good, it's defective. Some of them will be just defective and there's nothing you can do about it. Again, you can try to pry out those sides a little bit, or sometimes the battery is easier just to throw it away, dispose of it properly, and go buy another one if you want. 
but try all these little tricks of exciting it because they do work. These two were both junk, they're not anymore. This one was junk, it looks like it's taken a charge. And again, I don't have to sit here and plug them in and show you, oh, look, the drill's working, or oh, look, the drill didn't work before, or whatever. It's, it's going to work for you. Just give it a shot.